what does an engineer really do at work i spend around 25 to 30% of my time writing code the rest all goes in design meetings architecture reviews sitting with pms figuring out what needs to be done mentoring other folks so it's it's a nice combination of a lot of other things so where did you learn this himant i joined meta uh, i was very fortunate and lucky that uh, i got a senior offer while i was pretty young i just had like 3.5 years of experience i was definitely no not prepared for the scope uh, i was taking into that but i had some mentors which really helped me uh, realize what the culture of the company is and and how we can make estimates better how we can delegate better how do you motivate yourself and everyone around you to do something because very often i hear i find the work boring it's like never something you'll be able to you know fully satisfy all because everyone is looking for growth and they want to work on ambitious projects you try to find a balance i've seen a lot of people they have good career growth just because they did the work nobody else wanted to do it it creates a great impact story when someone is presenting that this guy or girl they handled the privacy work streams all the security measures while some other like they might be building cool features but so is everyone doing that right so are you thinking of more managerial roles in future or are you thinking of more individual contributor roles one thing i like about being an ic is the flexibility right on an average 2 3 hours of meeting per day other than these 2 3 hours i can do whenever i want my work like if i want to do it in the night i can do that maybe right but i think for management it's a more rigid schedule as an ic you are dependent on your team's growth as a senior but it doesn't really have a significant impact on your career but as a manager you are what your team is i do want to experiment try see whether it's for me and not and then make the decision in very large organizations where there are thousands of engineers how do you stand out what are the steps that a person should keep in mind have a kind of a ownership mindset you're writing the code it's going to solve a problem it's your duty to test it thoroughly if it fails it's my responsibility second which is marketing your work keep a brag document weekly item list of what you did could be very small to small stuff in a 3 months you'll you'll realize that you've done a lot do you think chat gpt is affecting the job market do you think large language models or code generators are affecting the job market and uh, if so then have you seen it at work now every company has their own uh, versions of chat gpt internal gen ai models as well in which you can you know find code pointers pretty easily they'll also write a code for you like convert this java code to python or you know php it's it's very helpful for me at least i think as it gets more normalized like everyone starts using chat gpt the beginner level tasks right for example you are given a problem and you need to code the solution these kind of thing these kind of jobs or skills can be easily replaced by chat gpt so i think if you still upskill yourself is still very valuable uh, being a software engineer there's there's a lot of stuff which goes in software engineering which currently chat gpt is not able to handle it there's a lot of human factor there's a lot of collaboration there's a lot of understanding the problems there's a lot of uh, like things which you know like how the product would be perceived by the audience uh, i don't think chat gpt currently has the intelligence for that so on that very positive note thank you himant for coming here and sharing your thoughts your experiences with us i hope to see your linkedin post keep coming wherever you go whether you're ic or em it's going to be very helpful for all of us yeah thank you garav see ya bye